Some 500 years ago, beavers were native to this country, but they were hunted to extinction. The idea of reintroducing them is controversial amongst both farmers and anglers. There are already a couple of beaver colonies in Argyll and Tayside in Scotland, and now new research carried out in Devon suggests reintroducing them could bring benefits to both flood management and water quality. Beavers released in a controlled environment by a Devon farmer have been studied by the local Wildlife Trust and researchers from the University of Exeter. I've been talking to Professor Richard Brazier, who explained that the quality of water flowing from their dams has been improved. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we thought it would be, but we were quite shocked at the profound changes that, that we saw in terms of sediment. Of course, when we farm the land, we can accelerate soil erosion. We saw quite a lot of sediment coming into the site on average about 150 milligrams per litre of water when it rained heavily. Leaving the site though, the figures were reduced to 10 or 15 milligrams per litre, so a really significant effect on the sediment pollution. And what about the, the impact these beavers might have had on flooding? Again, the effects have, have been profound. What, what we see, they've built 13 dams, upslope of which there's a large pool of water now. Uh, when it rains, the pools fill up in a kind of staircase through the wet woodland. And so there's a lot of storage capacity there which soaks up the water, stores the water, and that water before the dams were built would have taken maybe 10, 20 seconds to move through the site. Now it's taking a number of hours to move through the site. So that flood peak, which is typically the real problem in these landscapes, is what we call attenuated. It's, it's flattened down, it's, it's squashed out, and the floods just take a lot longer to move through the site now the beavers have done their work. And is it actually flooding the land? Because I guess a lot of farmers might say, well, if you reintroduce beavers, they build dams like this, but our land's going to get flooded. Well, that's a very, very valid concern. And so we've set up the experiment to look at that. This site, I should add, is a wet woodland site. It was lightly grazed some years ago, but it's not what you might call highly productive farmland. So yes, it is. The, the, when the dams are built, it does push the water sideways, perhaps a few tens of metres and that land has got wetter, the water tables have risen and of course more water is, is now stored in the land. But in terms of the uh, more intensively managed pastures to, to either side, there's no sign at all of the water being pushed into that farmland and so it hasn't had a negative impact on the local farming productivity. Would you be able to anticipate what would happen if they were introduced on a, on a wider scale? It's a very interesting question and obviously one we're wrestling with at the moment because because of the, the recent flooding. I think if beavers were introduced, they actually have been in the river otter catchment, it could be the case that they could block ditches or streams, which then might result in some farmland being flooded. If that happened, what would have to happen to follow on would be some management of those beavers, modification of the dams, which you can do in quite a straightforward manner, to lower the water behind them and then make sure it doesn't necessarily flood high value farmland. Or, of course, you could uh, envisage a situation where if farmers were happy to store more water on their landscape, that they might well be able to be remunerated for doing so. And I think there are discussions about that at DEFRA at the moment. Of and have you found that the beaver's way of life has had a positive effect on farming? Yeah, I mean, I think in the landscapes we farm, there's all sorts of diversity. There are patches that we produce a lot of food in, of course, and are very productive. There are patches that aren't so productive. And so the beavers tend to inhabit those riparian zones, those river corridors, which aren't really being farmed heavily. And actually, you know, they can engineer the landscape to store more water, store more soil, even stop these nutrients, these pollutants getting from farmland into our surface water. So that there's positive benefits fits there for having these animals around. Professor Richard Brazier from the University of Exeter.